Hi, Jim Stein here with Aquarium Design. You also know me as the LA Fish Guy. I'm here servicing one of my accounts. This tank serviced on a monthly basis. It's been running for about 20 years. It's got some live rock in there, so you might refer to it as a fowler system, meaning fish only with live rock. The live rock comes with an abundance of life, but on occasion, some of that life gets a little out of control. It's got a blossoming of aptasia anemones, small little brown pointy things that sting the uh, corals, the fish, etc. It's a little out of control, almost to the point of becoming a nuisance. In this case, it doesn't hurt the fish, but if this was a coral reef tank, it might have serious uh, problems with the other corals that are near it. I'm going to go ahead and service the tank. Once I get the coral decorations out of there, I'm going to go through and show you what Aptasias are. I'm then going to apply the Aptasia RX. This tank is viewed from two different sides. It divides a wall here. Uh, it has its filter system in the cabinet below. Um, you can see again that it has some live rock in there with coral decorations on there. Uh, there's a scattering of a few different tangs inside there along with some damsels. But you can also see aptasias. And they're growing all over the rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the coral decorations out. Uh, we'll get a better look at the Aptasias themselves. I'll service the tank, and then we're going to go ahead and apply some of the uh, Aptasia RX. So you can see here more clearly what an Aptasia anemone is. And it consists of your typical anemone structure, um, which has the oral disc, which is the round disc at the top, with the tentacles extending from it, then has what's called a column, uh, or the body, and then the foot, which is what's attached uh, to the uh, live rock itself. Um, this is the basic um, structure for most cnidarians, uh, which describes the whole family of corals, jellyfish, uh, anemones, uh, soft corals, etc. They're all based on the same basic premise. Um, in this particular case, these little anemones get just a little out of control. You can see how they're all scattered across this rock here. And we're going to uh, apply the Aptasia RX uh, to these today. And I'm going to do this now so that while I'm here servicing the aquarium, uh, as you read the directions, it says in about 30 minutes, uh, you should see results. Now, should you not see what you consider positive results, you then want to wait 24 hours before reapplying it because you don't want to OD the system on the stuff. But um, we should get about 30 minutes to see if we're getting any results. So I'm going to start working on uh, some of these at this end of the tank here. So this is the product here. And as you open up the box, there are two items inside there. There will be the syringe with the marks on it, as well as the uh, medication or, or liquid itself, the Aptasia RX Media. So, as you read the directions, which are here on the back side, what you want to do is turn off all the pumps, uh, power heads, internal water pumps, etc. Uh, you then want to take and extract one milliliter of the solution out of the container here. And then what we'll do is go in and gently apply that over the top of those various anemones. Now, this is a kind of a one each anemone approach, and you don't want to tap the little Aptasia anemone because he'll close up. You just want to apply the stuff gently above him so that those tentacles will pull that food in, he'll ingest it, and to a certain degree, it's like a little bit of a uh, food poison, for lack of a better description, once inside the anemone, uh, kind of disrupts his process and he just slowly begins to uh, disintegrate. So let's go ahead and pull some of this out, we're then going to apply it to some of those anemones inside the tank. 
So we've got the system shut down. One of the things the directions does say is you want to shake this real good. Get all that stirred up so that it's a nice even slurry inside there. So spend a few minutes kind of violently shaking it. GHL is widely recognized for the most reliable and future-proof aquarium controllers, dosers, and aquarium LED lighting on the market. Designed and manufactured in Germany, all GHL products are built with the highest quality and standards. The GHL Profilux 4 raises the bar to a whole new level. Featuring built-in Wi-Fi, the Profilux 4 can be connected to your network wirelessly and be monitored and controlled from anywhere. With integrated ports for temperature, pH, ORP, conductivity, you can monitor virtually anything. Built-in expansion ports and optional flow sensors allow the Profilux 4 to scale to meet the needs of even the most advanced aquarium installations without the need for additional add-on modules. The new GHL Doser 2.1 takes dosing to the extreme with integrated Wi-Fi for wireless management. It includes inputs for level sensors, a temperature probe, and an output for a magnetic stirrer, making it an ideal solution for everything from dosing, automatic top-off, automated water changes, and even automated feeding. The GHL Mitras are the most powerful and flexible LEDs in their class. The 7206's built-in wireless control makes for fast and easy setup while the GHL Light Composer allows users to easily set up their spectrum and lighting schedule. Six individual LED clusters provide the industry's best blending of LED channels while also providing the best spread. Nine channels of control allow you to tailor your lighting scheme to meet the needs of even the most difficult to keep corals while also bringing out colors in corals and fish that would otherwise remain unseen. All GHL products can be controlled via the GHL Control Center application as well as the MyGHL Cloud interface, allowing for monitoring, control, and management from anywhere via an internet connection. The unique interface eliminates the need for coding while providing advanced programming functionality unrivaled by the competition. If you're looking for the best controllers, dosers, and lighting on the market, then GHL has a product to fit your needs. For more information, visit AquariumComputer.com. Hi there, my name's Jim Stein, and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is MyFishTank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available. And the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com. Aquarium LED Mounts manufactures revolutionary articulating mounts for the most popular LED fixtures and pendants. Their unique patent pending design allows for full articulation of the light. You can rotate the fixture 360 degrees while also tilting it in any direction in order to maximize coverage while reducing shadowing and light bleed onto the viewing panels. They are designed to be used in conjunction with canopies, light racks, and light bars, but can also be adapted for use with light mount arms. The kit includes all the hardware needed to attach to your favorite LED fixtures. Aquarium LED mounts offers articulating mounts for many popular fixtures such as the GHL Mitra's LX series, Kessel 350, Kessel 360, and AP700 fixtures as well as Ecotex Radeon, AI Hydra 52, and AI Soul fixtures. Custom mounting adapters for other fixtures can be produced upon request. For more information, check out AquariumLEDMounts.com Having adequately shaken the vial and now using the enclosed syringe, I'm going to dispense some of the solution directly onto or into the Aptasia anemone's open oral disc. Without disturbing the anemone so that it closes, 
I'm going to gently dispense the solution directly above the anemone so that it accepts it and then closes around it. If done properly, the Aptasia anemone will consume the solution and then close up afterwards and draw it in. So there you can see the anemone has uh, swallowed or drawn in some of the uh, tasty uh, Aptasia RX. It hasn't completely closed itself, but it's drawn enough of it in uh, that it's going to end up consuming it. And you'll know when you've drawn it in and when you've scared it away. Uh, in this particular case, you can see that they're still protruding, and yet they um, are holding the Aptasia RX within their tentacles, and they'll begin to ingest that, and it begins to have a negative effect on them. And again, you'll want to wait about 30 minutes to see if you've had any uh, positive results. Let's go ahead and uh, apply some over here. And I'll try to get the camera to zoom in a little bit closer. You can see how it reacts. So you can see as I approach them, uh, the current makes them almost want to close up. So you want to carefully and cautiously approach them. See as I... Uh, introduce that in there they kind of think it's a food and so they'll begin to draw it in depending upon how large a population of Aptasia anemones you have will determine how long it'll take to address each individual one once they've all been dosed, you'll then want to wait at least 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and clean the inside of the tank. So we've uh, done our 20 gallon water change and it's about 30 minutes later. As we look at the rock here, you can uh, see that it's had a pretty significant effect on the Aptasia. Um, what ones are remaining have ingested it and they don't seem to be very happy campers. Um, really there's nobody there that is uh, extending out much any further. And uh, same thing applies to those over here. You can see that one there is uh, got a stomach full of the stuff. They'll just kind of slowly melt away. So <clears throat> it appears as though we've uh, gone through and had a goodly amount applied to them and it has had a uh, pretty significant effect. <clears throat> what I would probably do is wait at 24 hours and I'm sure there's a few of them in there that I've missed but um, at another time go in and reapply it and go for the ones that uh, you haven't gotten. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my water change and turn the pump back on, service the tank, redecorate it, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're uh, all done. So it seems as though we've gotten uh, a good 97, 98, 99% of them. All I see are little uh, piles of uh, powdery stuff, and that'll eventually dissipate, uh, but it appears as though the uh, Aptasias are uh, melting away. Uh, I don't tend to see any or many, at least uh, the ones that I do see seem to be pretty unhappy, so I would anticipate them uh, dissolving away. I believe there's enough in that package to go through and do a second dose and catch the ones that I missed, or if I didn't dose strong enough, uh, take and go back and uh, catch those that uh, did endure it. <laughs> 